Guys, I would really appreciate if you joined my new email list, link in description, and it pretty much emails you every time I have a new video. You know YouTube be acting up, so if you never want to miss a video, go join that now. So guys, today I'm going to be telling you how to get more FPS on Fortnite. Now whether you're here to learn how to download RAM, or you're here to actually know how to get more FPS, I will be telling you guys 5 or more tips that will definitely get your game up and running much better. Drop me a like and subscribe, I'm trying to get to 4,000 eventually and let's hop into the video number one customizing your in-game settings so I know this one might be the most self-explanatory option that there is but if you haven't already try actually adjusting your game settings if you're playing on all epic and you're lagging try going down some settings that I recommend if you have like a mid-tier graphics card I recommend going on like textures high effects medium anti-aliasing medium shadows off post-processing medium something like that and you can even turn some of those completely off off. Number two is to close all background apps and get your processor focusing on your game more. So guys, what I'm talking about is there's always a bunch of apps running in the background of your computer and it can take up performance and make your game actually run worse. So if you head over to your task manager, if you scroll through this list, you can see that there is a lot of programs in here. I actually have a lot less than you probably do because I do these tricks that I'm about to teach you. First, you want to just click on the startup tab. In here, you can see what programs start up automatically with your computer. Most likely like Google, Chrome, and Spotify, and all these stupid programs are starting up automatically. Turn that off because even if you don't see the program, it will start up and it will sit in your icon tray, it will run, it will take up system resources, and you will lag. Second is to hop over to MS Config. If you hold down the Windows key and press R and type in MS Config, press enter, it will take you to this weird kind of panel that you've probably never seen before. You want to head over to services click hide all Microsoft services and this is another kind of background app thing you want to be careful with this though because you can't actually turn some stuff off that you need but just a few things that like you really don't need is like Google updater or like Spotify updater you see what I'm talking about and the third option is to actually go into Windows settings and go to background apps and just turn off every single one of them. Really, the only one that I leave on is settings. You don't need like anything else. And after this, I'm sure you'll notice a big improvement. Number three is to clean up your computer slash get an antivirus. So people are always like skeptical on what antivirus to use or not to use. Personally, I use Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is trusted, guys. I have not got a single virus ever on my computer. I've been using Malwarebytes for like two years. Uh, I will leave the link to Malwarebytes in the description, guys. Make sure, you know, you can get like a free trial, run it, clean up some virus stuff if you have anything like that. And as well as I recommend just clearing space on your computer, you can do this by either just going into the Windows settings and storage and clearing up space, or you can delete old games. But if you have kind of a slower hard drive or your hard drive is almost full, this can also affect game speed so just try freeing up your hard drive a little bit fourth option is actually fixing your internet so you may be lagging not because of your computer at all you know you may be getting 300 fps but you're still lagging because of your internet connection if you guys want to check if you actually are lagging because of your internet you can go to speedtest.net on here you run the test it tells you what your upload your download and your ping is and guys i will tell you right now you should probably have around 10 to 15 ping you should have at least I'd say like a hundred download speed now for online games like Fortnite or so you are actually counting on your ping and your download speed if you are getting higher ping it means you are lagging more because it is taking the computer a longer time to ping with the server if you have a higher ping above like 20 you're probably gonna start getting lag in your game anyways how do you fix this well one option is to, you know, call your internet service provider, whether it be like Fios or Xfinity, and, you know, tell them that you're experiencing lag. You can get better internet, or the golden boy, you can get an ethernet cable. 
Ethernet cables are really cheap. You can get a really long one on Amazon, I'm sure, for a few bucks. And an Ethernet cable is a wired internet connection. You plug it into your computer, plug it right into your router, and it's literally night and day. On my computer, I get like 350 download speed, and I get like, I don't know, like 15 upload speed and like 10 ping. This is pretty good connection. So I definitely recommend if you think it's possible to get an Ethernet cable, you can run it under some rugs, you can do anything you want, and Ethernet will make night and day. Now, number five, the last tip I have for you guys is to actually upgrade your PC parts. So recently, I upgraded my computer again. I just bought a GTX 1070 FTW. This is a super good graphics card. I mean, my computer, I have been upgrading for over a year now, and I can now tell you guys everything you need to know about upgrading computers. I did make a video in the top right of how to buy PC parts for cheap. If you guys would like to learn how to do that, check that video out. But for now, I will tell you guys what parts matter for your computer's gaming speed. The most important part that you want to make sure you have at least a decent one is a graphics card. If your graphics card is very cheap or it is old, your games are not going to run good. The graphics card actually processes the game, the graphics. Second important thing is the processor. The processor works with the graphics card and other programs to make games run good. Next, we have RAM. RAM does matter, maybe more than you think so. Nowadays, you should at least have 8 gigabytes of RAM and recommended is about 16 gigabytes of ram i actually have 24 gigabytes of ram so i never have an issue with that last is your storage so storage is very important don't get it mixed up but if you have like a super old 10 year old hard drive and you have your game installed on that when you're actually playing the game it's gonna run a lot slower and the reason why is because it's an old hard drive you're playing something that's stored on a piece of junk. I recommend investing in an SSD, a solid state drive. You can get one for pretty cheap nowadays, uh, you know, for like 60, 70 bucks. And SSDs are super fast and your games will run 100 times better. Anyways, guys, I hope I helped you a lot. I gave you a lot of information. If you guys did get help from this video, drop a like, subscribe, share the video around. You know how it is. I'd really appreciate if you guys join my email list. My email list sends out an email every time I have a new video because you know YouTube be acting up and doesn't send out the notifications. Anyways, guys, this has been Fusion, and I'll see you guys next time.